while this is not you know always the the best way to showcase your work but this little edging that we have here okay just get rid of that stone there this was laid with the priming slurry from aspects and i tell you something now we've walked on here to gain access to the pergola because we're working on that at the moment and none of them has moved at all at any point it's absolutely solid we've even run the wheelbarrow over it so fantastic product um definitely better than when i mix my own up if you've got a, a good recipe let me know but in the meantime i'm going to be using uh aspects's easy prime well, we're back on it today and uh, we're putting the coach bolts through the front now. We're using one, 12 mils they are, that's more than enough. And it's going through the post here and it's connecting these two 6x2s together. So I'll just pull it all in. Go, starting to rain again, just cutting these uh, housing joints out. Uh, very simple with a cordless drill. Some people are going to say, why did I cut these on the ground before? But we weren't sure. <coughs> oh, excuse me, as it happens, eh? Nothing like it. Um, we weren't sure about what space and we we wanted in between. So, but we've, we've, we're doing it. It's not, it's not difficult. So we're getting it done. That's the main thing. Well, there you are. That's how that sits in there. And that'll... We'll have to put a screw in here, but that will stop it twisting. Come on before it starts again. Well, we're done. Yet again, uh, it's raining. You see all the hailstone. Absolute nightmare today, but we've got it in. We've got the bolts in. We've got the the rafters, the joists in. We've got it's all equidistant, all all nice and even. Um, the overhang on this side. Let me just go down here to see the overhang. We're gonna have to take some of that off. We can't have it that long because they're just gonna twist and, and bow. So we can, we can take some of that off it here. Otherwise, it'll start changing shape. But there you are. There you see it. Very simple. Uh, but effectively it's made a massive difference to this part of the garden. Let me just show you from over here. If we look across here now, you can actually see that it's just made a huge difference. And that part of the garden looks absolutely fantastic. Um, even if I say so myself. You can see how it sits near to the garage on that side. Not touching the tiles. Looking good. Absolutely awful day, isn't it, Jack? It's yeah. Terrible. Look, productivity, have we achieved something today? Yeah, we have. But it's been very, very slow, isn't it? But more, more or less, this is nearly finished now. We've got to put a little trimmer across there on that side, some trimmers around the other side of the log shed. Um, this whole system here, though we've done these joists going across there, uh, the rest of it, the 6x2, the post, they, they all haven't been coloured yet. So we've got, a, we've got our cream in the corner, we're going to colour it up. But, Honest, this looks really good. I'm really pleased with it. Um, certain parts of the timber could have been better, um, but that was the standard of the timber. But we're going for this look. We're going for this sort of aged look, and it's worked. Do you like it, Jack? Yeah. Right, that's it now. We've had enough. We're going on. It's so, so important that we clean up the end of the day. Clean up your mess, whatever you're doing. this morning we've got to put a little porcelain path in here and uh, you can see what's here these little concrete 450 by 450 so they've got to come out so let's get them out there we are got the uh, got the old paving out the, the old paving come and have a look the old paving is uh, they're 18 by 18, but they're these two inch, they're very, very thick. Uh, so this little path 
the sub base and hasn't gone any anywhere. There's no there's no uh, indications of undulations or uh, sub subsidence in any way, shape, form whatsoever. So what we're going to do now, we're going to be replacing this path now. We've got that out now, and then we're going to be putting this porcelain, the same porcelain we put around the back, will be along the front, and we are going to have a picture frame either side of this as well. We won't be cutting that in today. We're just going to get the uh, the pavement down and allow our clients to gain access to their property. Well, there you go, that's that little ECD 125. Cut through there, no problem. Well, I was going to talk about what was going on, but these these pair here, we've got her in today. We, we won't tell you her name because she'll kick off. But they've uh, they've had a coffee and they didn't even tell me, and they've had a brownie and they didn't even tell me about the brownie either. And. Uh, but what we're actually doing, let's get back to the job now. So what we've got now, we've worked out our distance we want from the six by two, but we've streamlined it through. We're not just gonna measure it because if we measure it, it won't look straight because that timber there, that six by two does go in and out just a little bit because that's just the shape of the timber. Well, another horrendous day. So this is where we're at now with this garden. Patio is finished and completed. We've got to grout it, of course, so that's not quite completed. Got the path going down. Grass is going to come in between here. I've said all this before. There's the planting pocket. We're thinking possibly using box balls and uh, pom-poms in this part of the garden here. And they can be done uh, as, soon as, as soon as we're ready, really. They can be planted during the winter. Um, you can see the screen wall there. We've cut. There's going to be a lot. We've got, got to give this uh, pergola a, another coat all over with a Rubio monocoat or a, a similar pr product that's going to blend in and match the colour of the screen. And fascia needs to be cleaned off there. But if you can see, all where you see the brown, the dirt here, going right the way around here from this bit, it's going to go right the way down the garden and a great area for. Uh, our clients, two young lads, and Nick to play football and rugby and what have you. And um, the beach edge is, is staying, as I said. And we've got that sleeper wall along there, so we're getting there. There's not in a, really there's not a lot more to do, but we just need some dry weather, and we do. Well, here we are. At last, I've. Uh... It wasn't Marshall's fault, but uh, I eventually got, and as a result of uh, direct contact with Marshall's, they've sent me this uh, sample. Uh, it's the, the Metro block. There we are. So I'm going to take this to this customer, and uh, hopefully they'll be pleased in seeing it. Well, I just took them the sample, and they loved it. They loved that Metro block, uh, really excited about it, and it was good that as soon as the sample come in i took it up straight away because they've been waiting a couple of weeks for that and uh that's not fair but that's a good sign anyway well here it is this is what keeps me going in the weather we've been having good old stew can't beat it look at that absolutely fantastic oh yes